Hi, and welcome to this video tutorial where I'm going to show you an incredible new AI tool that was developed by a bunch of university students from Stanford University, which you can use for free, that is going to be a your AI-powered research assistant that is not only going to do all the research about a question or a topic for you, it's going to ask itself questions on what's the best way to formulate that article, and it's going to write a full-fledged Wikipedia style article for you with all of the resources. It is incredible. And not only that, I'm gonna take it a step further. I'm then gonna show you how you can rewrite this article to better suit a blog post for you and how you can even turn that PDF into a podcast, which you can embed into your blog post. This gives your viewers or your readers another way to consume your content. And I'm going to throw another free AI tool in here that's going to create these very good illustrations automatically for you that you can then place into the blog post. If you don't know me, my name is Nico. I'm an AI-powered SEO specialist, and I run an online community where we teach and we help people how to maximize search engine optimization with the latest AI tools. We also teach you the basics of AI-powered SEO and a little bit of content automation. When you use these things two together, you can absolutely skyrocket your SEO, get found by more people, get more traffic to your website, getting you more sales or conversions or whatever the purpose of your website is. If you want to learn how to maximize your SEO with AI, I'm going to leave a link to this free community in the video description below. But let's get started right away. The tool that we're using is called Storm. And like I said, it was developed by a few university students from Stanford University. I'll leave a link to I'll leave a link to this website in the description below, obviously. But they also have a GitHub because this is an open source program. And I want you to understand the basic fundamentals of it, that it's a large language model that writes Wikipedia style articles from scratch based on internet search, internet search that it does. And they say that it cannot produce publication ready articles. They often require a little bit of edits, which I tend to agree with, and that's not a bad thing as well. I'll also leave a link to the GitHub as well so you can check it out if you want to. So when you place in a topic or a question, it'll do the research that it needs to do and then it'll read the research and ask itself question on what it thinks is the best way to answer that. That's what makes this quite interesting. So if you go to the link provided in the description below, you're going to go to this, you're going to see this user interface which is something that we're very used to by now. And you're gonna to go to create an article and enter a topic. We're gonna to get a little bit more granular here and say um, how the future, how AI and language models are affecting the future of SEO or might affect the future of SEO. We then want to type in and elaborate on the purpose of writing this article. So we're going to say, I wanna provide readers with both perspectives if AI is going to impact SEO negatively or positively. And that's all you need to do. We're going to then create start and you need to give it a couple of minutes because it needs to do the research, understand the research, ask itself a couple of questions and then show you the output. You can see here it's getting a bunch of links that it's reading and referencing. And in a matter of about three minutes, you have this output, which gives you a summary of an impact of an AI, of an, uh, AI and large language models on SEO gives you all the references or the citations that are used to create this whole thing. And here we start with the historical context. We can see the table of contents here in the side. Um, current impact of SEO, that's pretty good. Then it's a pretty word heavy article, but it's really cool, really high quality. I've done it a couple of times and I've read this a few times over and it always provides an interesting insights because of the research that it gathers. I've created an AI research assistant before, but this kind of does everything for me in the one step, which is great. And really interestingly, you can even show the PDF as well. You can download that PDF. And we're going to do that because we're going to turn this quickly into a podcast. Go to download that and go, just save it as something that I can reference to later on. So how do we then quickly rewrite this output? Make sure you read it, make sure that you understand it and that you kind of agree with most of the research that it found and everything that it's stating. Within our free online community, if you go to the classroom section in the prompts, we'll have this cool and very high quality prompt that is called the Sparkle Copywriter Prompt. This isn't mine. It's generated by a gentleman that goes by the name of Stunt Spot. 
very very good prompt generator i'll leave the links to his patreon and discord here below that you can check it out but with this prompt we're going to copy it and go to a new conversation in chat gpt and just going to paste the prompt there this turns gpt into a pretty nice content copywriter that kind of won't use the standard ai languages like in the ever evolving world of or whatever that might be so now I'm going to tell it to rewrite the following content in a format that is nice to read for an audience. I'm going to go back to the storm output. I'm just gonna copy everything. You could also place in the whole PDF, but I'll just copy it so that I can show you that we can do it in a bunch of ways. Place it into our Sparkle Ready GPT and going to give it a minute. And it's gonna start writing, rewriting the blog as well. Perfect. Now, while our blog is being written, we're going to turn the PDF that we downloaded into a podcast, which is a tool, which is something that I'm still very mind blown off. If you go to Notebook LM, it's a recent, it's a tool that Google has actually released for, has had released for quite a bit, but it's only been accessible to everyone over the last couple of months. And this, and this little update that they recently did has been out for a couple of weeks and I've been using it so much. I'm going to paste, I'm going to drop my PDF here where it says upload resources. It's going to read that for a little bit and I'm going to, it's going to give me a couple of things. It's going to allow me to generate FAQ, a study guide, a table of contents, a timeline, even a briefing doc out of the PDF that I provided it. I don't want that though. I'm going to use the audio preview and I'm going to go generate. That is going to give me an audio file of a really really real sounding podcast between two people that discuss the topic that we just gave it. It's phenomenal. I'm gonna go back to our GPT and perfect. It looks like we've got our blog post that is a little bit shorter, but that's fine. Remember the length of the blog content doesn't really matter. It's about the quality of the blog content. We're going to paste it into a Google doc and I'm going to use a bit of the, use some of the references that it provided below, for example, that I can make sure that I'm backlinking to and referencing myself. So in this fact, in this part, it says understanding user intent. Let's see if I can find that here. Understanding user intent. There's probably a link that it's referencing. I'm gonna find the reference that's talking about user intent. And by reading it a little bit, I can see that it's this one here. I'm going to copy this one find the section within the blog that I just wrote about understanding user intent, better understand intent beautifully. I'll right click that, I'll insert a link and I'm already backlinking my blog, which is great. I suggest you do that about three to four times throughout the blog so that you are referencing the high quality sources which Storm got for you. Another thing that we need to do as well that I promised we would do is the is the illustration. So what we're gonna do is copy this future trends, for example, because I want to place an illustration at the bottom of it here. And I'm gonna go to another free tool called Napkin AI. As of the time of this recording, this is free, but it's so good that I'm not sure how much longer it's gonna be free, so make sure you use it now. When you sign in, you're going to create a new napkin and it's going to give you this. I'm gonna paste that little snippet from the blog that I created. I'm gonna highlight everything and select this little spark and auto spark. And it's going to read it, understand what it's about and then provide me with an illustration that I can copy and paste into my blog. It's phenomenal. Uh, I like... Let's see, future trends of AI driven SEO. That seemed really good. I'm gonna choose that style. And if you want, by the way, you can amend the individual items of that. But for now, I'm gonna click here and go download PNG. And it's gonna allow me to download that. And then I can even place that into my blog post or in this case, into my Google Doc. Perfect. So I've got a blog that is well researched it's gonna add value to the reader. I even have some illustrations, so it's not so boring to read. And once this is done, you'll get this little preview here that if we start listening to it, we'll have a pretty incredible output. Okay, so 
Get this. Today, we are diving into the AI revolution that's changing the SEO world. Mm -hmm. And believe me, this isn't some like futuristic stuff. This is happening right now. So that you can then download the you can then download that audio file and upload it into something like SoundCloud if you want, <clears throat> which is what we did. And we created this this whole blog post that has the research the podcast that you can listen to my illustration created by napkin ai and it's even backlinked as well to the resources below and i've got a full-fledged high quality article with the help of my ai powered research assistant from stanford which is the storm absolutely phenomenal i really like this tool i think i'll be using it a lot more if you want to learn more about the latest AI tools and how to use them to maximize your search engine optimization, helping you create better content easier, make sure you join the make sure you join the AI ranking community. Again, I'll leave a link to the video. I'll leave a link to this in the video description below. Thank you very much for watching. If you found value on this content, I'd appreciate a little like and a subscribe. Thanks. I'll see you in the next one.